Common misconceptions about sex in men. Most of the unharmonious couple's sexual life is not due to illness or physical obstacles, nor psychological problems. It is often because one or both parties have some misunderstandings in sexual concepts that lead to contradictions and conflicts in specific behaviors. Here, I mainly talk about the most common misconceptions about sexuality among men. 1. Excessive emphasis on the frequency and frequency of sex There is a kind of public opinion among men. It seems that the more sex lives, the more qualified and masculine this man are. The more satisfied and happier his wife is. Conversely, husbands who are less frequent are said to be unable to serve or can't deal with their wives and are considered not manly enough. In fact, most wives do not think so. Compared with sex life. According to an expert survey of 1279 couples in 31 large and medium-sized cities, the following figures are based on this survey. 78% of wives value the former rather than the latter. Compared with the number of simple sex life and the quality of sex life, how many orgasms the wife can get from it. 85% of wives prefer high quality rather than large quantities. The practice of men's sex life is not the more the better. Between the ages of 30 and 35, more than half of the husbands have experienced that their sexual needs have actually quietly changed. And they have also shifted from demanding large numbers to seeking high quality hoping to gain deeper emotional communication and experience. For this reason, if a man conceptually believes that the frequency of sex is the main measure of marital harmony or even the only criterion, then he is likely to have two behavioral errors. For one, he may ignore or deny his wife's emotional needs and simplify his sex life into a series of actions. In severe cases, he will greatly harm his wife's personality and emotions. Second, he may increase his psychological burden invisibly. Once he is older, or occasionally encounters special circumstances. And cannot maintain the high frequency he thinks. He will suspect that he is suffering from impotence and premature ejaculation doubt or disappointment in personality and life goals. As a result, the stronger you are, the less unexpected it is. In fact, the frequency of a man's sexual life is basically determined by his physical condition and age. It is the same for all ethnic groups in the world. And almost every man's life will have some periods of less and some periods of more. There is no question of how many times should there be. A man's sexual charm mainly lies in his mature personality, understanding and generous mind, and deep emotional persistence. If you do not pay attention to these aspects of cultivation, but blindly care about or brag about the frequency of sex, then it is difficult for men to get out of the misunderstanding of sex life. 2. Overemphasize the role of sexual skills in the specific situation of a specific couple. Extremely appropriate sexual skills will have a beneficial effect. But we must not forget that sexual skills must have the four most fundamental prerequisites. First, both spouses must be absolutely voluntary and genuinely needed. Otherwise, it will not only violate the human dignity of the other party, but also cause psychological harm to both parties, which will definitely not produce good results. Second, the relationship between husband and wife must be quite good. Third, the level of knowledge and attitudes of both parties must be very consistent. Fourth, the skills used must be rigorously scientifically tested and have proved their scope of application in clinical medicine. 
any inconsistency between husband and wife's feelings and knowledge, any hearsay, and half knowledge will make sexual skills have the opposite adverse effect. It is especially important that sexual skills can neither create love and concern nor can they communicate fully. In our country, at least half of wives neither need nor appreciate their husband's sexual skills. They are particularly disgusted with their husbands using themselves as some kind of tool or stage for men to blindly use or perform their in this case, the couple will only become increasingly separated, indifferent, and even conflicted. All happy couples know that the most advanced and universal sex skills are actually not movements but hearts. They are as much as possible to pour and concentrate the true feelings of love, attachment, intimacy, and care into their sexual life. 3. Understanding sex life too narrowly. In couples' sex life, men will eventually ejaculate. But this is neither the whole content of sex life nor its primary goal. Sexual life is a vehicle for expressing love. It must include a stage of psychological preparation in advance. And the final result depends largely on whether the preparation stage is appropriate and sufficient. Some husbands regard their physiological processes as the first and unadjustable. And the result is often too eager, rude, and simple. Among urban couples in our country, those who have never kissed each other accounted for a quarter. And more than half have never kissed deeply. 41% to 53% of those who never touched their wives at all. But at the same time, 83% of people think that their marriage is very satisfied or relatively satisfied. It can be seen that it is not that the husband does not love his wife, but that he does not love, and overemphasizes the final physiological result, but ignores the process of emotional preparation. In a horizontal comparison, some highly educated, High emotional couples have almost 100% experienced and often have almost all kinds of caressing behaviors. They really see sex as a kind of life, as making love rather than fulfilling physical tasks. This is undoubtedly beneficial to the stability and quality of marriage, and it is worth promoting.